Well, here's my thought. First of all, you know uh, that Tristan Thompson, you know who that is. He plays for Cleveland. He was caught cheating on uh, Chloe. <laughs> Chloe is so pregnant right now, she's crowning. <laughs> you know, the baby's head is like right there. <laughs> Uh, she's nine months pregnant, and uh, Tristan was spotted, um, according to, well, according to this. There he is. How do you think you're gonna hide yourself when you're six feet nine? <laughs> oh, you throw on a hoodie? He's spotted making out wildly with this girl in New York at a nightclub. This was Saturday night. This was this, was this past Saturday night. Later on, the two of them the girl and, and Tristan, there she is. Later on, they were spotted, she was spotted at his, his hotel. The calculations show that she spent approximately 48 hours with him. Uh, they went out, all right, Saturday night they did the boogie at the club, Sunday they went out, she didn't leave his hotel room until Monday at 8 p.m. with a large overnight bag. Now, mind you, he had already left the hotel room, so you know how that is. You know, you're close enough with somebody, you know, stay in the room, check out when you want, order anything from room service, love you, baby, or... Ew, but... <laughs> you know, because the thing about getting implants or stuff like that, whether it's breast or booty, you've got to massage them so that your boot, so that... Like, it looks like nobody actually massaged it. Cause it's supposed to. Well, clearly she wasn't born with that, but her name is Lanny Blair. She's 28 years old and she is an Instagram model from the Bronx. She's from Queens, Bronx, Queens. she's from Queens. Uh -huh. Where she's a bartender at a strip club. She's also the star of this morning's page six. If you're in New York, you pick up the post. Oh yes, they've got a. They, she's a beautiful girl and apparently talented at what she does. Yeah. Um, and so here, here's the part where our show is involved in every damn thing. Even though I swear to you, I try to mind my own business. You might not believe me. I try to mind my own business, but I just get caught up. 30 years of my career, I keep getting caught up in some mess. <laughs> but look, Lonnie was in the Wendy audience like three years ago. <laughs> Shut your pie hole, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish, okay? Because just when you co-host think nobody's looking, we've got cameras. Forget these guys here on the, on the floor. There are cameras all up in the ceiling. We are watching you. So look, she was in the audience and she was so attractive and engaging, you know, with her claps and her smile and her wares and stuff, that my producers actually invited her to possibly be a model in one of my fashion shows. You know, I always use co-hosts. And here she is backstage getting prepped. Uh-huh, there she is. Right? Yup, yup, the Wendy Show does it again. She comes to the show, she gets pulled aside. Now, have we used her as an actual model? I don't think so, no. Well, now no. might be the time. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, call us. Okay, right. uh, Lonnie, uh, holla at your show. <laughs> so anyway. After, um, after that video came out with Lonnie and um, Tristan, TMZ then posted footage of Tristan with these three women. This was done in October at another gentleman's club in Washington, D.C. Now, my, my thing is that I don't think that Harvey knows how to hold a secret over at TMZ. Harvey, if you've had this footage since October, I only come up with one reason that you've never posted it. You and Chris have a thing going on. The mother, the mother. You know, a business thing, you know what I mean. Like, look, Harvey, I know you got the footage, but um, please don't post it. Chloe's waited a long time to get pregnant, and now she's finally pregnant. No, this is not laughter. This, tr in, my, in my opinion, these are facts, uh, like in my head. You know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna do anything to make her lose the baby, so please don't post this. Just hold, be a pal, Harvey. And um, look under your front door, Matt. And...
There's something nice for you there. You know, and in hearing all this stuff, I felt bad for Chloe at first. Until? <laughs> until I realized, wait a minute now. Wasn't uh, Tristan expecting a baby with his girlfriend, Jordy Craig? When, right? I mean, the only person I feel bad for is the baby. I, I don't feel bad for Chloe. Chloe, you knew when you pulled up on him that he had a girlfriend named Jordy Craig and that Jordy was five months pregnant. And by the way, sidebar, uh, uh, from all this garbage, s s sidebar, just a little, um, you know, note to um, women out there. When you're dating and you know a guy is expecting a baby with a, a woman, but he's cute and he tells you, you know, that's been over, no, we don't live together, you know, she's just gonna, she's just gonna have the baby. Here's the thing, it might be over, but the fact is, and only people who have babies know, when a baby enters the world, everybody goes to mush. You don't know whether he's gonna get back with her. You don't know how he's gonna be as a father. He's got a lot of stuff to sort out over here. Chloe, you jumped in some mess you didn't need to be involved in to begin with. <laughs> One terrible person in my Hot Topics meeting suggests that she had a surrogate. Oh. I'm like, get out of here, please. There are too many moving parts to the story. Don't confuse me. <laughs> I mean, she did that the picture with the bump and stuff, although this is the family notorious for, um, you know, exaggerating pictures and stunting and stuff. It, it, it is in black and white. And her nose looks like the same nose as before she was pregnant. You know, they say, you know, your nose gets big. She, she still has the same, look, come on now. I mean, my shoulders got, so, I had so much fat on my back. I, like it was ridiculous. I had all this going on and stuff. I'm not going with that though, stop. P please take that out of my head. As far as I'm concerned, this is a baby from her vagina. Oh. Look. So the day before all this action came out, Chloe posted a picture with the caption, we are ready whenever you are, little mama. And that's the picture. <laughs> you know what though? I wonder what the rest of his story is. Nobody said it, but you, but you know what I'm saying, doing? Just the, no you don't. <laughs> All right, well I will continue my own personal investigation. <laughs> And she seemed like she was really into them. The whole family was there in Cleveland. Did you see that episode when they were all there? And Chris was like, do you want us to go to the game or not? You know, and everything was fine. Um, sources are claiming that Tristan is a serial cheater and more women are about to come forward. Chris has flown to Cleveland to be by her daughter's side. Chloe is having the baby in Cleveland. The other sisters are supposed to be on the way. Um, he was booed last night at his game. People, they lost the game too. He only got a little bit of play time, but then again, I checked with some of the guys around who actually care about sports, and they said that he's not normally the, the big player anyway. He's, you know. So to me, you know what makes him a big player, see? Chloe, you know, when you're a famous girl, you gotta watch these not so big players. Cause, I didn't even know who this guy was. I didn't even know who he was. And now he's on Hot Topics, he's in the Post, you know. I don't even know who the stars of the Cleveland uh, Cavaliers are. As far as I'm concerned, he's the star. Which is horrible because, because of the involvement with the family, he, he has taken away all the attention of everything. I wonder how they treat him in the locker room. You know? Well, guess what? Would you have him in the delivery room with you? No. Oh wait, no, clap if you would. Okay, sure. Well, Chloe agrees with you. Chloe wants him in the delivery room. So it'll be Chloe and I guess the sisters outside steaming mad, Chris will probably be in there. <laughs> Look, th this is what I feel, all right. Chloe, have the baby, go back to LA, and you all continue with your manufactured life that you sell us. <laughs> I
I never thought I'd say this, but you know who to me the star man of the family is? Corey. Yes. Chris's man with the big hips. Uh-huh. <laughs> look, <laughs> look. Corey minds his own business. Corey is not out here stunting with other women. Well, he's from Atlanta or dot, dot, dot. Um, I'm talking about maybe her credit. Thank you, sir. You are my people. Um, but he's not out here doing anything other than being with Chris and minding his own business with his shiny lips and his big hips. All right, now. Suzanne. Would you have Tristan in the del delivery room? Uh, hell no! Yeah. I wouldn't! Oh. I think the bigger cautionary tale is don't get involved with a man who's about to have a baby on the way. Uh -huh. That's all. I thought I cared more. Uh -huh. I what did she say? Lamar. Lamar? Oh. She's not going back to Lamar. Lamar, you don't want that action, do you? No. Lamar, Lamar, go on with your life. She's not gonna come back to you. Uh, although she does have a baby, so now she won't be uh, badgering you regarding a baby situation. And you already have kids. You know what? Let's follow that. Yeah. So anyway.